there, I'm Darwin, you probably met me from my intro vlog, um, I'm sorry I couldn't do last week's vlog which was uh, gender and sexuality spectrums, but this week's vlog is coming out, even though for me coming out, well, it's kind of an odd story. Like, my mom wanted me to be a lesbian, but that didn't really happen, so I had to come out to her as straight, which is kind of odd. Quite a, quite a twist there. <laughs> I'm semi kind of sort of kidding. She's just really open to the idea of me being gay. I came out as bisexual to a couple of friends of mine after watching this video where, um, well, first of all, it was about, it was a video about these people coming out. And sometime during the video, this lesbian girl was talking about how, um, she realized she was lesbian because she wasn't attracted to, um, men in magazines, and, like her, like all her friends were, and, well, all her female friends. And I was like, oh my god, I don't get attracted to m men in magazines either. Like, what is that about? Um, so I thought, oh, well, maybe I'm just not completely straight. Uh, but I can't be lesbian because I've been attracted to guys and um, I'm attracted to them now, so I, do, I just, I don't think that that's necessarily the case. But yeah, I, I came out to a couple of friends of mine as bisexual without really thinking about it. Um, and one of the things that I, that didn't make sense to me was, well, where's the attraction of females, then? Well, there was one female that I've ever been attracted to. Uh, like, I, I had I had known her for six years, and there, there had been nothing... nothing before then, and nothing after. It was just this one moment where I was attracted to her. Just, and then it was just not there anymore, and I, I don't really know what that was about, to be honest. But like, one of, one of the two friends that I told, um, he was like, good, that's great, you're, you're kind of onto something here. Um, not like it was exactly what I was, but, um, he was glad that I was trying to figure things out, at the very least. There was a point in time where I wanted to be a lesbian. I really wanted to. But I couldn't. I... It's just, um... I had gotten to a point where I didn't, I, I, um, I didn't trust men anymore. Um, and I, I thought that maybe if I started telling people I was a lesbian, I, I could, I could avoid, um, things. But it, it, it really doesn't work like that, and it, it, it doesn't work like that. I think I'm done for tonight. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. I am here to finish my vlog. So... 
when I first discovered the term demisexual at a sexuality forum at Flagler College. Um, I first came out to my friend Skylar, who you already know from, she's participating in this, these Unity vlogs as well. And she was there when I came out to uh, the rest of Bible Pride, which is a an LGBT Bible study group on campus that I got involved in my first semester there. And it's great. Thanks, Skylar. Then I came out to uh, several friends back home, excluding a huge crush of mine, which I, I plan to tell him, but... <laughs> and then I came out to my parents. My parents and most of my friends didn't really understand what demisexual was when I told them, and I'm not all that surprised because I didn't know either until then. So, I mean, it's, it was understandable that they didn't understand, but you know, I explained it to them and they were like, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and, a, well, a couple of my friends were like, it sounds like you're making stuff up. Or it sounds like the LGBT community is making up words, which, in my experience, I don't... I, I mean, I, I understand the misunderstanding, but um, experiencing it for myself, I know that it's real, so... Yep. <laughs> I also told a few more people on campus, including a couple of people in InterVarsity, which is a Christian group on campus that I find really fascinating. I've heard horror stories about it from before, um, before I arrived, but uh, that was when they had a different person in charge of it, and um, I don't know, it's The person in charge of it when I was there was great, so, <laughs> I don't know. And one of the guys that I told, um, I, I was like, yeah, I'm demisexual, or I found out that I was demisexual and, and I explained it to him and what it meant and he was like, oh, I thought that was normal. So <laughs> that was, that was interesting. So. The point is, I finally found a sexuality term that resonates with me, one that I feel describes me, and that I feel comfortable enough going around telling people, and not because I would feel embarrassed going around telling people that I was lesbian or bi, but because those terms don't resonate with me, and demisexual does. And that is my second official blog vlog that I've ever done. If anyone has any suggestions, I'm more than willing to hear them.